It is the only song that I've written so far that is inspired by one of my favorite things in the universe, which is food, which everyone knows is my obsession. But the funny thing is, is that nobody knew that the this, this song was based on my inability to decide on um, restaurant menus and so. This song is basically about just my experience with being like super indecisive. And if you're a friend of mine, or if you've ever been out with me and seen me order on a menu, I'm sorry. It's ba it's pretty bad. Like I am really bad at trying to not figure things out for myself, but just you know learn how to sort of be there for myself and like trust my own instincts. But yeah, that's kind of what this is about. When I visualize it. Initially, I did, you know, have that vision of like, you know, an astronaut in space and feeling lost and, um, you know, hopeless. Like frantically being like, are you there? Is anyone there? Is anyone gonna help me? Like, it's kind of just like the the vibe or the feeling that I, I really wanted to communicate. Like, everyone who's heard it kind of felt the same way, which I really, I think is really cool. In all my songs, I try to talk about my shortcomings and a lot of the things that I deal with as a human being. There's so many songs out there that are just about the same fucking thing. I want to write about things that everyone experiences, that is, that is not exclusive to a specific party. You know, I just love writing about things that people experience and can relate to. I really like artists and songs that make me, that I can just like sh hit shuffle on their catalog of music and their discography and know that every single song that I listen to is something that I know I'm going to be able to relate to at the end of the day. And that's what I want all my songs to do and I really think that this one does that. But yeah, no, I'm just, I, I love this song so much. Nightwave, my producer, shout out to Nightwave, he did an amazing job. My favorite part that I did is the ending uh, with all the, like, the vocal samples, like the parts that like bounce back and forth. And fun fact, if you actually listen to it, on the headphones. I just li like found this out, which is weird. Listen to the song all the way through, or just skip to the end, uh, where it goes, are you, beep, ba, 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 ba. Every time I say, are you, I have the are you pan really quickly from one end of the ear to the other. Every time I hear it, my eyes, like, it just goes whoop with the, the direction of the sound. And I just, I can't, it's like an involuntary reflex. Check that part out again and let me know because I think I'm crazy. I'm, I, might have, I might be having a stroke. So it's fine. No, what I hope everyone takes away from this song is just that we all have our shortcomings and we all sometimes need help and um, don't know what to do. And sometimes it's good to have help, but sometimes it's really important to sort of trust yourself and also more importantly, be there for ourselves. And it's really important uh, to have people around you who encourage you to have self empowerment because otherwise we're gonna be codependent and sort of you know, rely on other people to do things for us and, and figure things out for us. And I'm talking to myself here, to be honest. But thank you so much for watching this video. My new song, Is Anybody There, is out now on all the streaming platforms. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time. I don't know why I always wave. <laughs> I'm so bad on camera, oh my god.